Hello everyone and welcome. In this week's video I'm going to be explaining batteries, more specifically uh, the basics of batteries and then also lead acid batteries. So the basics of batteries, uh, what we've got going on, it's, it's actually pretty simple. All you want to do is transfer electrons. So what you've got is you've got a cathode, which is a positive plate, and what it does is it wants electrons, so it's lacking electrons. And then you have an anode on the other end of the battery, and that's a negative plate, and so it wants to get rid of electrons, so it has too many electrons. Then in the center you have an electrolyte, and what this electrolyte does is it prevents these electrons here from simply going over to the cathode. So it's a separator between the anode and the cathode. So when you connect uh, a coil or a wire between these two ends of the battery, you allow that transfer of electrons to occur. So the electrons will leave the anode and they will travel to the cathode. And you may be wondering now, okay, well I've always seen current flows from positive to negative. And that is true, current does, uh, as the convention, flow from positive to negative. But because the charge is negative of that flow, uh, the electrons are actually going back the other direction. So, how does that work? Well, let's take a look at a lead acid uh, battery, a car battery, basic car battery, as an, our example. So we've got our cathode, which is a lead dioxide, that's the positive plate, and we have our anode, that's just lead, and that's our negative plate, and then these two plates are inside of this electrolyte solution, and in between is a separator plate or an insulator. Okay, so what reaction occurs inside of there? Well, basically when you discharge, when you connect these two and you allow electrons to flow from the anode to the cathode, what happens is the lead from this plate mixes with the uh, sulfuric acid, which is the electrolyte solution, sulfuric acid and water, it mixes with that and it forms uh, PBSO4 plus a hydrogen plus two electrons. And so what that means is that's what it's allowing to transfer over to the cathode. So these two electrons then transfer over to this cathode. So the lead dioxide here on this side mixes with the sulfuric acid. It takes the hydrogen from that reaction that just occurred and it takes the electrons from that reaction that just occurred and it forms PBSO4 and two H2Os. So that's the reaction that occurs to discharge. Uh, to recharge, it's simply the reverse. So the cathode goes from here to here, those electrons go back to the anode, and the, the anode uses that, those electrons plus the hydrogen and forms lead and sulfuric acid. Okay, so one single cell, like we've shown here, is good for two volts uh, of electricity. So a six, uh, in our cars we have 12 volt batteries, uh, as you may know, and so how does that happen? Well, all you do is you stack different multiple cells together. So you've got six cells here, and you can see the anode to cathode, and they just line up in a row. You've got your positive terminal and your negative terminal, and these six cells multiplied by two volts each will give you a total of 12 volts, and that's how your car has its 12 volt battery. So, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.